So I guess in a way you can say we can blame this purchase on YouTube because we learned uh, of this machine from YouTube. Yeah, YouTube, YouTube University. YouTube University. Yeah. Uh, what is it called? An Arc Captain MiG 200. It's actually a six in one, they call it. It does your regular MiG. It does your flux core gasless MiG. Does your TIG stick? Uh, you can do aluminum, uh, spool gun, and the six is what they call spot weld. It has a mode for spot weld, which for a novice such as myself, that'll probably be a good thing to start out with or to have at first. And as I said, this is a production because we have two cameras going this time. Oh, a box and a box. Cool. Those are always the best gifts. Oh, I think you got it upside down. There you go. Yep. The 110, this welder is a 110 and also it can do 220. The MIG torch, okay, that looks like gas. How do you know that? The ends. And if I don't know what something is, if someone has more intelligence than me or my father, let us know down in the comments below. As I said, I am just learning, so this is all fairly new to me. There's your MIG torch. What's the other end look like? Oh, that's interesting. I believe they call that a European style. I think is what they call that, but don't hold me to that. Well, keep deeper, the deeper into explanation here. We'll just add what we need to. We have different rollers. There should be the 030, 035, and I believe there's I don't remember if it was 023 and 045 as well. Is there we'll an 035 in there? I don't, my, there's only three, right? There's three in here. Okay, I got a 4040. Let's get another bag. O three O. Point eight. This one's got knurling in it. 
I believe that is for either the flux core or the aluminum wire. I'm pretty sure knurling is the flux core, but I can verify. But I can verify that. This one is it doesn't look as marked as good as the other one, so we'll come back to that. Was the bag marked? No, huh? No. Okay. And you got another. You got some other tips for the different sizes. In the outer cover. Can you give me the flash? Sure. electrode holder for stick welding or MMA, however you want to call it. Feels pretty good. Pretty stiff. I'd say it's pretty decent quality. But then again, like I said, what do I know? Oh, okay, this is different. So the last week or so, I've watched a bunch of videos on this welder. And it was, at first, this company, they haven't been around very long. I think they've only been around like two years. And the way the welder used to come was, this was 110, but it looks like they changed this to 220. So I guess that's good. I know some of the videos I watched, there were some complaints that the adapter was the 220 plug, but I guess this is better. So here you can plug that into this and then plug, plug it, it into, into the 110. 110. Yeah. So I would say that is better. <clears throat> I'm already starting off ahead. I didn't even know it. There we go. And that's what it looks like if you want to use 110. Okay, why don't you hand me the uh, gas fit? Okay, so we have our on off switch here. Feels pretty good, sounds pretty good. So that's good. So this is the, this is the gas line. way it goes. Uh, I don't know, but I make sure. No, it's both the same to me. Okay, a twist so. on? Yeah, it's a twist on. Okay, that's on there. Okay, so that's that. Okay. So it looks like it has information back here too. You got a label? Oh yeah, that's probably in the machine cool. specs. Mm -hmm.
and for let's say if you wanted to you have two you have two ports uh positive and negative so for let's say you wanted to do mig i believe it goes over on the left side did they send a book yeah there's a manual okay this here right here that's good Yep, there is a manual. Show, show everyone they, they do send a manual. They do send a manual. Mm. And one thing that I have heard a lot about is their warranty. Uh, from what I understand, it's a two-year warranty, so definitely be doing that here pretty quick. And another thing I've come to understand is... The manual is a really good manual. Uh, I've heard some say that with these uh, lower budget welders that the manual are uh, hard to understand and words are misspelled and yada yada and there's not a lot of info. Well, with the Art Captain, from what I understand, is a, it has a very good manual. So that's a good thing because I will definitely be using that. I'm pretty sure standard with most welders or all welders. And... Okay, looks like Dad put the three rollers in there. We have yet another one. This just flips down. And your roller goes in here. This adjusts for roller tension. The machine can take a 10, 11 uh, pound spool of wire or two pound. We have the two pound because at the moment I'm probably not going to be welding a whole lot because at the ranch here we have a lot of other pressing matters that are more important but you're going to start practicing though right but I am going to start practicing yes and I think you want everybody to join you when you practice correct yes uh please join me sound off in the comments tell me what I'm doing wrong tell me if I'm being an idiot don't worry I have broad shoulders I can take it so that's the welder itself, because I'm a novice and I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Right, yeah, and it does have uh, some automatic settings that you can set. So the machine itself will set to wire feed, and we do have another MIG. We have a snap-on, uh, I believe it's a 200 amp. It is. And <clears throat> we've had that for quite a while. I've welded for the business uh, but I just can't weld anymore and I thought that us getting Joey this would make life a lot easier for him to learn to weld. This is what they call a synergic welder. It has smart technology they say. I don't know if mom can get it but right here is what they is what's called the sin button that's your synergic button. What that does, from my understanding, is that through amperage, that uses the smart technology in the welder to help you lay a better weld. It basically, like Dad says, it sets the settings for you to a certain degree. And um, like on the voltage, there is, from what I understand, a three voltage leeway. So if, it's, if the synergic mode's not exactly to your liking, you can uh, plus or minus it three volts. But uh, in that program, it will help uh, do the wire feed, correct? To yeah, the, wire feed to speed. To the voltage. To the voltage, yes. Right. That's correct. So, that's that. It has a fan, they say. Uh, when you first plug it in, the lights come on. The fan comes on real quick, then it shuts off. And then you can do all your uh, settings. Like I said, you can do MIG, you can do gasless MIG, flux core, TIG, stick, or MMA, um, aluminum, spool gun. Don't have the spool gun yet, but with our high school loaner program, uh, racing wheelchairs and throwing chairs, those are, most of them are aluminum, and sometimes we have to make adjustments to them by cutting them up and uh, resizing them for athletes, so... If need be, we can, uh, or I can do that in-house now once I get proficient with that, or learn how to do it. I can do all that stuff here on the homestead, so that's that.
I'm not really sure what else I can say about it at the moment. Can you plug in the cables? Oh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna plug in the ground cable. You should have the other one there too, right? Yeah, I have the uh, TIG torch on the... So did you open the second box? Not yet. Oh, okay. Well, so everything you're showing right now comes with this. Yes. And you'll put a link in the bottom. Yeah, I'll put a link in the description down and, below. Uh, this yeah. one we got from Amazon, but our captain is its own company, so you can get get these products direct from our captain. Then we get a special coupon or special price, hundred dollars off. Yes, Amazon, Amazon. Yeah, at the time Amazon was doing a uh, special price. Um, it was normally four fifty, and they were doing a hundred dollar off coupon. So that was one of the other reasons why we jumped on it, because getting a uh, multi-process welder for sub five hundred is kind of not really common. So it was a good deal. Another thing we have where that other box. Oh wait, I'll do this first. I guess. For the sake of the video, I will put in the TIG or the MIG torch. Well, that's the funny one. Show me which one you're doing so they know. So, yeah, this goes into this top left hole. Well, that looks pretty simple. I it is. Line that but up. It is, but I'm doing, it, I'm doing it backwards, so it's making it harder than it actually is. Push in or? No, push, oh, right. push, oh. and then screw it in. Oh, you screw it to make it nice and tight. Yep. That's a good feature. Can't bust it. How long is that cable? I have, to my understanding, it's five foot, but yeah. it's. It, I think it's longer than that. Maybe ten. Is that ten? Mm, I don't know. It could be 10. Maybe 8. Maybe it says on it. It looks like it's pretty long. Yeah, it's pretty long. Maybe it's the uh, the power cord that was 5 foot. I know there was something that... Yeah, this said, is this is 5 feet. Yeah, that. Yeah, that's okay. definitely 5 feet. That's okay, so short. That, was my... that one's a long longer. We don't have the... Well... What don't we have? I was going to say, what do we want to do? Do we want to turn it on now and show some of the features? Or do we want to wait to do that? We'll, we'll wait to do that. We okay, so. A, yeah, that'll be a separate video. We need to get some power. Yeah. Uh, you have this. Uh, the TIG torch. Yep. I believe this is your gas adjustment. And I'm not really sure what else I can say about it. One more process for me to learn. There's a lot you can do with a TIG torch. I can do the aforementioned aluminum with it if I need to. Oh, wow, I got more than I bargained for. They had to go to the big city the other day for doctor's appointments. Dad's like, uh, give me a list of wire or electrodes or whatever else you think you need. I did. There was like maybe four or five items on my list. Well, don't ever send Dad to the store and expect just four or five items. It's not going to happen. But in this case, that's all right. I won't complain. Pittsburgh, that must be from uh, Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight. And no, before anyone asks, they're not a sponsor. We oh, yeah. have been shopping there for years. There's two in there. We used to uh, buy a lot of our stuff for the business. 
dad's business, mom's well, business, not, years ago. We didn't buy a whole lot. Some. Mostly everything came off the tool trucks. Tool trucks. trucks. But there was a point we learned that some stuff from Harbor Freight was just as good as the tool trucks. Here, take a minute and take your wires out of the way. That one can go on the floor and the other one can go up there. And it just unscrews. Just need a little more room. And this is all together? Yes. Hang on. Okay. So yeah, we got two different uh, Pittsburgh clamps. So I'm sure those will come in handy for... That, yeah, that's a clamp so. down of some kind. And then there's another one. Was, I've one. seen them before. There's a flat one somewhere in the shop. Yeah. We'll find that someday. Yeah, our shop is still loaded up on bunch of trailers out on the property so yeah, that'll be an ongoing days. okay looks like we got a looks like a two pound spool of 030 er70s-6 a uh, solid mig wire oh flux core looks like we got some flux core as well so some point I can uh, just go to town and welding. Don't have to worry about gas or anything like that. So that's neat. And we had to buy this kit to get the tungsten. However, if we can get the tungsten at a local welding store, store then yeah. we'll take that back. Yeah. Mom and Dad were at the store at Harbor Freight the other day, like I said, and uh, they had called me once or twice to ask questions about stuff needed. So they did that, and then we hung up, and then. I had an epiphany or a brain fart, whatever you want to call it, and I said, I believe the TIG torch doesn't have tungsten in it. So I, uh, yes, I opened up the box uh, a little early off camera and verified, no, there is no tungsten in the uh, TIG torch box. So, yeah, there's that. So why do you need the tungsten? That's your uh, electrode that goes in the gun, and then you have filler wire that you uh, can uh, fill in with the uh, arc. MIG pliers, I've seen that these are very handy to have. They, uh, you can clean your nozzle, you can uh, cut your uh, uh, stick out on the MIG wire on the tip to the proper length, and I, there's a bunch of other uses, I guess, so I'm glad I got those. Then we have a four and a quarter inch multi-purpose magnet, which that'll be good for doing fillet welds or, uh, t or uh, putting two pieces of metal together on a angle. Got a four piece smaller set, so that's cool. You guys been spying on my Amazon uh, list? <laughs> a lot of these things I already had in the list. Oh, we got some butt clamps. To do butt welds, so that's neat. There's, it's like eight pieces. And we got two sets of gloves, a large and an extra large. Yeah, because never know what size my hands are. Try that too large, see if it works. If those are with your long fingers, I think the extra large would be perfect. And those were, that was their quality gloves, and they had an early Black Friday sale. Oh, no wonder you guys went so crazy. <laughs> oh, it was only a couple of things. Yeah, it looks like they fit, so that's good. I won't uh, singe my hands, which that would be a very good thing because. My hands are my hands, but they're also my feet. That's how I get around roads, so that's good. Oh, it's a two pound pack, so that's good. It'll give me a lot of practice. We have some 6011, 332, another two pound pack. That's good. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, some refer to 6011 as farmer's rod. So around here, that might come in handy someday. 
And we have one eighth. Seventy eighteen uh sticky electrode. So that's cool. And what do we have here? Low low temp uh, aluminum. Needs no flux. Okay, so we have some aluminum electrode, so that's good. We're not sure, I'm not sure if that's for gas, acetylene welding, or MAP, or whatever, or if you can actually use that with TIG, I, I don't know. Like I said, if there's anyone more intelligent than us, please sound so, off in the comments below. And Dad still has a lap full of stuff, so I guess we're not done. Yet. Yeah, this is... <laughs> This is a TIG rod, just different. Is that the long ones? Yep. Okay, so we got some TIG rod, uh, more ER70-2, uh, that's one in, or that's one eighth inch. So that's good. I'll take them back. And there's three more packs in here, but I'm not gonna show you all of them because I think there's some duplicates. We got some. If three, not, there's a variety. We got three thirty seconds. Yeah, a couple three thirty seconds. And yeah, that looks like that's what it is. So, four packages of that. Holy cow. Did we get to the end of it yet? Uh, just about. But wait, there's more. <laughs> Yes. Uh -huh. 